Hello guys and welcome back to this chaotic neon forest. Today we are going on with the plot of the heaven event heaven. <laughs> okay. I, I still need to switch uh, for real in English. To Trudum. So mm, we have 12 days left. And I I, I can do it. I, I hope I can do it. We're already on chapter 10, so... Is this Kumar? Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. The lamb know not the purpose of, of defense. Okay. Outside the fence. Let's go. Let's go outside. Let's break free. I want to break free. First the child self, the, then the teenager self, and then the young adult self. Only in the medita in med meditator realm can one face so many past selves. Oh, okay, so it, I was right the other time. I thought after the little baby version of Kala, she would meet the other version of herself. And that happened. And defeat them one after another. Oh, this must be the 20 year old me was tiring. <laughs> mm. Calabona robs her bruised cheeks. That pain feels real. Ay ay ay. You came here sooner than I expected, Calabona. Hello, Kumar. Oh. Uh, so many crow. They're baby. I love them. The wind feels like tingling knives on the rooftop. A familiar is not too familiar. Figure once again emerges in front of her. I knew you would come. Kumar. Finally. See you again. I miss you dearly too, my child. I hope you've been doing well while I was away. Hope you're happy with the surroundings I set. I always find it enjoyable here. A place full of memories. <laughs> and perfect for small talks. <laughs> I don't know if it's perfect for small talk. I would rather prefer uh, uh, the old house uh, where shaman uh, offer us tea. A trolley suffered, miss. Ah, someone is having a worse attitude these days. Oui, oui. Calabona looks around to observe the surroundings. There's no need to look around, kid. I already had a few years of experience in the field before you started your research. And one of the most basic skills one has to master in the meditator's realm is to cover up the traces of reality. So... If this meditator realm is actually a place uh, where you escape from reality while you meditating uh, and, uh, I don't know, lost in thought and so on, why it's so dark and depressing? Mine, uh, who would be mine? Uh, probably full of plant and cats. I guess that's all. <laughs> The sky is dark, like the surface of dusted glassware. Even so, you didn't even think about creating a starry sky for yourself here. Eh, good point. It would be nice to have a starry sky. Kumari is silent for a moment and then shakes her head. Hmm. That would be unnecessary. You can see it any time outside this realm if you like. So why go into the realm? If you can see whatever you like and uh, only have a depressed atmosphere. Why did you invite me here? I know you've put in a lot of efforts. I understand the difficulty within and sympathize with you, Kalabona. I always do, just like what I did with my younger brother. By the way, that letter has been delivered to him safely, I assume? You're smart enough not to bring the Vishnu statue with you. Did somebody kindly remind you not to do that? Never mind, that's not helpful. 
Okay. Ah, you. Your brother. Why involve him? For a moment, I was like, "Wait, who is your brother? Why are we talking about your brother?" <laughs> and now I, I actually remember that shaman was the brother. Okay, sorry, I, I have bad memories. Um. Behind Kumar, an old finder scope, finder scope, is aiming at the sky. Hmm. Maybe I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. Even with him, he, he didn't do anything. He was a, a child when they uh, didn't let you After in. All, they precluded me from doing anything even before I give it a try. Although my misfortune was not my brother's doing, there's no one else left in the family to take my anger. Uh, ah. But, but what? Leave him alone. I mean, you already killed uh, or have your revenge on everybody. Am I wrong? So ask me now. Ask me anything you wish to know. I can tell you everything. What you're curious about. What you're confused about. Anything you can't work out in your little brain. I can explain it all. Who oh, dare you? Even if I'm a gnom, that doesn't mean my brain is little. I mean, probably yes, but it it proportioned with my head. <laughs> and it, this doesn't make me less intelligent, okay? She smiles warmly, but her words are as cold as usual. Hasn't the idea that I might locate you bothered you for even a second? Kalabuna takes a tentative step forward. <gasps> Gasp. Locate me? <sighs> you are still as naive as a child, my Kalabuna. You little dummy, Ulu. That is simply impossible. This is the first time you doubt my capability. No, why would I do that? Of all the students, you are the only child who is smart enough to follow my steps this far. Hmm. But I do not actually see Kala have a, a revenge arc like you. You just don't have time on your side and need a better mindset in dealing with the unexpected. I've tried to teach it to you. Remember those impromptu speeches I asked you to give? Those were good practice don't have what do you mean mm -hmm. perhaps you have put too much stock in the idea that I will rely on Manus Vindicte in this instead I trust myself more than them and of course I also trust you I'm confused you you still add Manus Vindicta Vindicta as an ally or are you using them <laughs> for your uh, purpose? Or you actually didn't ally with them, but still... Uh, I I'm confused. <laughs> What's more, they were never good enough for me. But luckily, I have never been a real arcanist or a real human, only pretending to be either of them when necessary. I can easily act like an arcanist to gain their trust, just like I could act like a human when I was teaching at Vena. Pog. Kumar noticed that Kalabona has been staring at the whole defender scope. What are you staring at? Take it if you're interested. <gasps> what? Kumar takes off the finder scope and throws it lightly to Kalabona. It lands precisely in her palm. The surrounding remain the same. Calabona can find any loopholes at all. What? You thought it is the key to cracking the meditator's realm, like the stone statues earlier? Though it is too late for hints, there is one thing I have to remind you of. Hmm, what? She is indeed a, a thoughtful as, the, as she claims to be. You didn't catch up to the real me. Nor did you improve the situation by entering the realm. 
You chased me all the way here. Chased the hope of winning against me. But you only helped me complete my plan. Mm, obviously, we already know this was a, a trap. But still, uh, Calabona, did you fight uh, uh, with uh, your older self uh, for nothing? The moment you entered the realm, the last step of my plan was done. <laughs> oh, oh. I completed what? As you know, exerting influence on reality through the meditator's realm is challenging. After all, this realm is like the shadow of its real counterpart, a reflection of reality. I went to a lot of trouble, even wasted a statue, to finally stick out a corner of the shadow over the boundary of the two worlds. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really trying to pay attention. <laughs> a statue in the cave. Okay. Yes. You influenced the... You can influence a thing outside your realm, even if you are inside the realm. What I needed was an outside in force to break the realm, which is almost unbreakable from the inside. A mirror can reflect objects, but there's nothing it could do to itself. It can only be shattered into pieces by people not from the reflection, but reality. Okay. Whenever there is a shooting star streaking across the sky of this realm, an equally beautiful star will fall on the real Earth. Huh? And guess what? You are the force I'm looking for. No. How? Um. So the fluctuation I detected, the energy of the celestial body felt by the Foundation girl, I just false alert what for real oh so she influenced the data on the real world uh, let us letting us think uh, that was actually a catastrophe that, that was a uh, coming upon us uh, and it was all fake uh, because she oh oh, oh 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 ah oh mind blowing okay Okay. Oh no. I have to admit, that young girl was not part of my plan. But at least you are on the right track about what happened. So the foundation uh, is going to come here uh, and say, okay, what is the problem? Eh, there's gonna be a, a meteor raining uh, here. And then nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone stares the sky confused with a Pikachu face. If anything is to blame, it's your ego. You were trying to win, but not by saving people. The idea of proving yourself to me outweighed their lives. You must be wondering, how could she lay such a trap with her insignificant arcane power? She can barely lift a lump of clay. No, I she wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking this at all. Uh, and I was amazed by the turn of event. <laughs> all that being said, you don't have to feel yourself to be a lesser version of me. You're still my best student, my best colleague, and my strongest rival. Wow. Well, with some room to improve. Even this time, you didn't lose the game for lack of wits, but for the fact that I know you a bit better than you know me. Oui. And I simply have more experience hunting a prey. Wow. Okay. You and the madness. I've never, never thought that. Mmm. I feel the drama. Calabona feels her explanation is meaningless and stuck in her throat. She's almost choking for breath in the gentle breeze. That means if I didn't enter the realm to see you, nothing would have happened. Then things are going to be tricky for me. You would be enjoying a happy deeper festival while I would be crying in a dark corner nobody knows of. Oops. Why? Why would you? 
Well, time's up. Remember to ask the most important question first next time. Child. Oopsie. Don't thank me for that suggestion. And don't think too much of my kindness. I didn't explain all these things for your sake. I told you everything because only by doing so can I enjoy the victory to its fullest. Your desperation is a good prize for me. Oh, it Okay, this is like one of the first time I actually am actually seeing a really calm and pragmatic person being the villain. And this is super interesting because uh, despite everything, uh, she, she seeks revenge, but she, she's doing it so rationally and calmly. Uh, and I mean, she's so... <laughs> She's so cool about it. <laughs> I, I don't know how. Wow, I admire you. <laughs> I would I I like to have the same uh, attitude. Well, uh, actually I'm super sad about Kala because uh, she will actually be des des desperate uh, now that she know she know she know you know I have a bad taste for entertainment. Mm. Go back to the deeper festival. At least there's one good thing left for you. You will get to see that beautiful shooting star with your own eyes, just like I will. So this is actually gonna happen now. Mm. Alfida. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Okay. This could be a problem. Rat and it stays. Oh no! What happened? <laughs> Let the dust fall from the bear the bird. The road stretch on ahead. She's not afraid to put every possibility to test. We can do it. I believe. Okay, rat and its days. Hmm, my ankle hurts no more. Good for you. Kanjira tried to move to the tightly wrapped ankle. Hmm. Shaman is sitting under the sacred fig, and Matilda is actually walking around and around the vat. Neither of them is in the mood to check Kanjira uncle. <laughs> uh, she's been in there for mm, four minutes, 26 seconds. It's not so long. Is this a reasonable length of time? Uh, I remember I once learned about the ideal time length for meditation in one of the elective classes. What's more, she's holding her breath underwater. Ah, okay, yes, this is actually concerning. <laughs> like, uh, five minutes straight uh, with holding your breath uh, underwater is actually a problem. <laughs> you need a good apnea. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, this man. Shaman closes his eyes. The noise of people, the, fung the footstep, and the light cracks coming from the inside of the tree gradually turn into the crackle of flames. When there is only one way to the destination, you have no choice but to take it. Okay. Pain is coming fro from his car of the mutilation, which held up long ago. You have to force yourself to take that painful step and then blame yourself for being such a desperate fool to move and lose balance. Ooh. Who has never made a mistake? There was a time when he was just like them. If he had chosen the other path, the sacred figure wouldn't have died and they would be sitting in its charade. Ooh. But who we'll say that will be the better future?
my man. But the silver lining is, it's just a stagger on the solid ground. And you will eventually regain your footing. My man. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Devat burst into pieces after the five minute silence. The water splashed into the ground, like st a strange shadow cast in all directions. Oui! No! Whoa! The poor vat breaks into pieces. The muddy liquid spread in all directions and covered the ground. Her wet hair is clinging to her tightly. She looks as miserable as a drowned cat. No, She's always beautiful. Don't say this to her. Leave here. <coughs> now. And get everyone. Oh no! She vomits in great pain. As if she could expel the regret fr from her body this way. Did, did you see Kuma? What happened? I'm the one to blame. Damn it. I'm such a fool. I should have known that I'm not a match for Kumar. Mm, don't say this. She you knows what that means. If the boundary between the realm of the reality is broken, the celestial body will fall on them in no time. There's no easy way to forgive herself. Maybe it will destroy them today. Maybe in the next minute. I keep telling myself I did all these things to save the people. To save the village. Turns out it was me fighting against a dummy she set up. I messed up everything. For everyone. She looks at her finger. The nails have sunk into the soft ground. Oh! <laughs> man. A wrinkled piece of coarse cloth come into their sight. I mean, pro she probably need uh, something more big than this, but thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be... I should have listened to you. She lowers her head even more. If I were more sensible, I just left this path. This stupid doubt trap. Nothing would have turned out this way. Oh, is that how you see it? Hmm. How you, how you see it, my man? Tell us. I assume you think it is this way because you have failed in the mission and thus feel depressed and indulge yourself in some negative thinking, which is totally understandable. Blaming it all on yourself, telling yourself you will be the only one to suffer the consequence so as to alleviate the guilt. Or you didn't understand what I said to you earlier at all. Oh, repeat it to, our, to us. What did you say, Healer? I don't remember. Whee! Look at her eyes! You're so cute, Kala! She looks up with confusion, wondering in Dex's relaxed tone is another illusion. You have to stop it, Kalabona. Remember what I said? You don't have to feel bad for trusting people. And here's another piece. Don't blame yourself for being brave. This man is a giant green flag. Ah. <laughs> wow, wow, such a man. Okay, this is important. Kala, Kala, if you don't go, if you aren't gonna marry him, I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> so, <laughs> ju just to say. What did she tell you? You were a fool and you ruined everything. He crouches down and looks straight at his reflection in her eyes. Come on. Both of us know this is not the case. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's so lovely. I love this man so much. Brave or reckless? Prudent or cowardly? Comments like these could be predictions, but most of the time are hindsight. The good news is, we still have time to change that. You know what kind of bears the hunters fear the most? The ones which were once trapped, but eventually got away. Nobody can remain a predator forever. We don't know what will happen in the next encounter. What's more, life is a long fight where we outsmart one opponent 
and get outsmarted by the other. That's the wisdom of nature. Bears eat salmon, wolves eat rabbit, but eventually, bears or wolves, their skin will become our blankets. A tiger might have strength, yet a rat also has its wits. You don't need to defeat her to validate your victory. You can win this war another way, a way to your advantage. Wow. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Even... <laughs> this man! Listen to this man. He's the perfect man. When will the wrestling between a fisherman and a fish begin? When the fish bites the bait. Wow. <laughs> so, if you still have some strength left in you to get back on your feet and think straight, that'd be most helpful. After all, I don't think we have the time for another round of meditation. Hmm. Calabona takes up the cloth. She buries her face into it, whipping hard across her eyes. The pain brings her sense back. The last time I wiped my face with this, I was wrestling with my mom. What? You were... You were what? <laughs> okay. She takes a deep breath, trying to get her brain working again. Kumar, she broke the boundary between the meditator's realm and reality through me. I'm afraid the falling star will arrive early. What? There's no other way to stop her then? There might be a way to stop her. By locating her in person. But I didn't spot any clue in the realm. And now... We can do it. Don't worry. A dangerous situation. Almost as urgent as the time when Rama was facing the arrow knocked to a full bow. Instead of getting caught up in nostalgia, we should take action and protect what can be saved. Indeed. The estimated arrival time of the Foundation backup is 6 a.m. It will be too late if the meteor really falls early. We need a shelter that can withstand the impact. Also, we have to gather all the villagers. And... Let's do it. And... In the field training, the instructor also told us to... I'll go with you. Yes! Avengers assemble! Angela staggers her way to them. I'll go with you. I know the way better. Besides, Shadja is not back yet. If anything happens to she, I will not forgive myself if I say those words. Oh. Hmm. I'm staying. Ooh. Huh? If I can calculate the range of damage of the comet, we may retreat to a safe location. Calabona flings her wet away hair back. Every rat has its day, and this rat is doing her best. We, I love, I love it. You're using the metaphor of shaman. <laughs> Don't put on a face like that. You are not some rat. I can tell. You are the tiger cub. In the meantime, mm -hmm. let's not forget. The real rat is still out there looking smug. Ooh. And he said, no, you're not just a rat. You're a whole ass tiger. <laughs> you're a whole big tiger here. I love it so much. Okay, right now I'm gonna write to coffee. Coffee. Shaman is a giant green flag. <laughs> ah, okay, done it. <laughs> is it predictable that there will be a long term battle outside the stone door, enchanted with protection incantation? Shaman turns around and rubs his hands. And rubs his hands, feeling a bit uneasy. Watch out for the things I knock off. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. I also got my enemy's weapon. In my own way. 
in my own. Okay. Just Buff. Okay. Let's go. Step it up, everyone. Made it to your mind? Just inside. They're just little games. You don't drink this every day. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. They're strong. <laughs> Why? Why the full target here? Mean. <laughs> okay, no more healer. I was joking super hard. Um... Oh. Let's go. It's almost dead. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Just in time. Let's go. Step it up, everyone. Foolish. Okay, I, I actually learned that you can't use a three star. <laughs> I'm super sorry. I really need a healer right now in my life. Are you ready to be blinded? Let's go. Just take it as a trip to London. Yeah. -ha. Ali. Ah, uh, one of three. I'm so dead. I'm super dead. I'm so sorry. Just in time. Just as planned. Stop me up. Cheer up. Hold your breath. Woohoo! Release! Woohoo! Release! Mm. I'm gonna win without uh, healing. Let the show begin. Woohoo! He's not dead. Oh, okay. Mm. This, this is so bad. <laughs> I need the healer. I need the healer so bad. Wow. Ali. Illusion is nothing. Ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I'm gonna die soon. Bang! <laughs> ah, yes, this is my hand. We have the ultimate. We're gonna use them. One for all. And for one. Let's go. Waha! Fantastic! Bang, bang, bang! Okay, we can do it uh, even if we <laughs> don't have a healer and uh, we are only left in two. We can do it. Don't worry and be happy. Just as well. Wait. Give me another card here. Fantastic. Ole. Just in time. They're just little games. Umbrella and a Bang. Woohoo! Release! Release! Wee! Oh dai! Almost there! Oh, almost there! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Who need a healer uh, when you can barely survive? Yes! The triumph of the wise was so special!
Maybe I, I should actually wait uh, before uh, pulling somebody. I, I need a healer. <laughs> this, this determination is poor and bull heart free uh, of the chakra of rationality. Okay. Throws against the wind. Let's go. Here we are. Oh, Miss, Miss Sherja. The last butter lamp has been blown out by the quiet breath. Darkness falls on the people who are still in hiding. We are safe as long as they can't find us. Sherja hide the fainted woman and the girl in the shadow to keep them safe. Miss Sherja. Don't worry, Gina holds Sherja hard so tight as she is the only lifesaver now. Relax, Gina. Remember what Pati and Dada said? Just wait here and they will be back soon. Your brother is also helping them out. <laughs> but those monsters are terrifying. Even, even Mata. Um. Mm. Recalling the tragic scene, Sherja can help closing her eyes. Martha just passed out. Don't worry. She will... I hope so. Oh! Oh, oh. Oh, no! The man cast an incantation while wielding the Ram Dao to keep the monster away. The ram down cuts through the hair. An arm covered in black slime falls to the ground. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh huh. The body acts before the mind. The moment Sharja exposes herself and rushes into the light, ay, 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 ay. her senses scream to warn her of the danger. Ay, ay, ay. There is no doubt. A bear ended the human challenging a group of Manus followers is throwing straws against the wind. Ay, ay, ay. Please don't die. Kanjira will will suffer. Ha! Ah! Our man! Oh! The last Manus fo follower falls to the ground. The mask broken in half. Shaman freeze. His fist still in the air. Even he himself doesn't realize what has happened. Oh boy. That was close. Ooh! He looks down and meets Sherja equally confused eyes. Uh, Miss Sherja. I admire you for your courage, but this mm. is getting a bit too nerve-wracking. <laughs> the the more gentry ways of saying to to someone, please don't do this again. <laughs> he withdraw his arm, a bit scared by what has happened. Ganjira, wait. How did you find this place? Okay, sorry. Sorry, Miss Sherja. I should not. This song is a bop. Scares me so. Sorry. Couldn't control myself when my body just. Huh? You go with me. Hmm. The old man grasped the shaman left arm. The Sharma boy. Oh. The old man seems to be looking at a living ghost. Uncle. Oh. So. 
The family is not all dead. What? What? Warmly greeting the old man, he avoids the question. Or maybe. Or maybe he called him uncle uh, as a way to say big, uh, big man, old man, uh, or, so, or similar. But आप लोग सबसे ज़्यादा खुश किस्मत हैं क्योंकि हम सबसे पहले आप लोगों को ढूंढ पाई हैं। चलिए तकाल चाचा। चाचा। पता करते हैं। आपको हमारे घर का रास्ता याद है ना? Let's go. क्या? वो चला हुआ पुराना घर। चुवाली नहीं उठता। कभी नहीं। फिर तो आपको मुझे माफ करना पड़ेगा। चाचा, आप हमारे साथ ही जाएंगे। बले मुझे आपको बंद कर कींच के ले जाना पड़े। No, he still call him uncle. So is he actually your uncle? What the fuck? Can someone just take this old man and I don't know, leave it someone somewhere? Okay, I'm not gonna say it. You get, you get it. Ah, I mean, throwing, throw him into the air. I don't know, like the team rocket. The villagers are pushed into the tuk tuk with their complaints. All right, I'm glad to see that you're fine, Miss Sherja. We are in dire need of a helping hand. Indeed. Miss Sherja, I remember you know this place well. Yes, I do. Okay. We need to transfer everyone here, humans and arcanists, to a safe place. Let's go. And you're the best person to do that. I... Mm-hmm. All right. I'll do whatever I can as long as it helps. Fantastic. Wish Let's go. Mother could see this. <laughs> Isn't she a lot more reliable than I am? Told the old man a million times that humans make more decent work partners than Arcanus. Ooh, <laughs> these men, these men, guys, these men. <laughs> Hurry, up, you Hurry up, let's go. Matilda opened the door and urged them to get in. You can check later. I hear you, Sherja. Please briefly tell us what the neighborhood is like. We need to pick up everyone in the town as soon as possible. I noticed that there is a, a little problem with the volume of uh, some character and the host of the game. The, their voice are so low. I don't know if it's my problem. Maybe I have something strange or wrong in my op option, option. I should check. I don't know. We need to find the quickest way to do it and avoid all the enemies on the way. Hey, relax. We can't run away from them. We will just run over them. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, time to fight again. We still don't have a healer. But this will be not a problem, I swear. We're gonna go and win. Uh, what the fuck? The Balahas live near the village entrance. The fastest way there. Oh, and Auntie Sitar. She lives at. Uh... Okay. Look, there are some road signs ahead. Which, uh, which way should we go, Miss Sherja? Hey, people. That rumbling noise sounds like giant rocks rolling downhill. Those guys are catching up. Oh, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't worry, just speed up with Kanjira. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -mm. Let's go. We have the their poison, so let's use it. Oh, they're super dead. Okay. <laughs> Oh, young lady, never underestimate the legs. 
Or animals. Indeed. Animals? Well, more or less they are. Leave them to me. I know how to deal with things that have legs. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> easy, big guy. You're turning my caravan over. I know how to deal with things that have legs. Uh, like uh, every... Ev well, not every, but almost every <laughs> living being in this world. <laughs> Okay, hello there. Ooh, so many legs. Uh, now I see the point. Oopsie, I'm covering him. Okay. <laughs> My giant hat. Show me off. Show me off. Move your legs. Move your legs. Release. Bang. Huh. Okay, this is gone. Oh, so many ultimates. It's illegal. Aye, it's illegal. <laughs> we bad bad boys, bad guys. Um, I'm not gonna Let's use go. all of them. Are you ready to be blinded? They should be games. dead, like Cheer this. Up. I hope so. Are you ready to shake? Okay, no. I I miscalculated. Oopsie. We needed another one. Well, they are almost dead. I, I want to preserve them because I don't know who will be in the next wave. Be serious. Well, well. They're dead for sure. I know it. Let's go. Okay, top. That was great fun. Hmm. That was nothing like the training. We took a detour, but we will get back to where we were after this intersection. Okay. Oh well. Uh, good for me. I have uh, still uh, ultimates. Fantastic. Just ask Lam. Please hold your breath. And. Let's go. Like Step it up, everyone. Step it up, everyone. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I have prepared it all. I, I have prepared, prepared it all. Bang. Fantastic. They're all poison. We can do it. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna pay and have uh, this one more stronger. I'm gonna do this, uh, this, Move and this. Uh. Let's go. They're all poison. We need to, to do this. Bang. Aha. Ooh. Okay. Mm -mm. He's, su he's super dead. I prepare it all. I have prepared it all. Bang, 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 bang. Hee hee hee. Bye bye. One, two, three. Okay, all are here. We got everyone. Fantastic. Hmm. The gas pedal is more heavy. Oh, Uncle Takal. Wow, it's a lot of huh? मैं यहाँ से केवल आपके पगड़ी देख सकता हूँ। मुझे डर है कि आपको अभी इसे सहाना होगा। ये जल्द ही खत्म हो ही जाएगा, क्योंकि हमारे पास इत उत्कृष्ट योवक ड्राइवर है। यात्रा खत्म हो सकती है, लेकिन इसमें अधिक समय नहीं लगेगा। she suffer from double personality, I guess. Open sesame! An incantation is not always what opened the door to a cave of, for a treasure. Of a treasure. Or maybe in this video we can finish the game. I hope so. The game, the event, <laughs> not the game. Open sesame! We. Oui. How is everything now? Well, it's going smooth. 
The young people and tourists left as soon as I persuaded them. Only the old and the children are left here. It's not that easy for them to move, and... Hey! You promised to give me half of it! Hmm. Now what? The boss cannot keep his own promise? You! Ah! Uh, Oopfy! Ah! Uh, someone is talking about me! Who is it? Hmm. I do most messenger work. More food for more work. Hmm. These kids were abandoned and driven away by humans. I'm glad to see Kanjura get along with them. Child aren't racist, like the adults. Don't worry. <laughs> Calabona looks down at the astrolab, astrolab in her hand. If she could enjoy life like this. No, nothing. Calabona chuckles. There's a faraway look on her face. By the way, where is it? Uh, it's so ruined. I don't know if this is a safe place. I have to be honest. Mm. You just reminded me of my mother. Oh. Shurja, perhaps people like you are the key to saving all of us. Maybe. I just observed it again. The figures are showing a grim picture. Luckily, I've worked out the specific range of damage. Ooh. She draws quite a large circle in the map. As long as we can get out of this radius, there will be no casualties. As for other losses, they are beyond my ability to cover. Hmm. Hmm. The airship of the Foundation is on the way. At least our water supply is secured for now. Indeed. But the problem is, at such a distance. She draws a straight line on the map lightly. The distance. Even if we follow the straight line, it is impossible for us, with the elders and the children, to get out of it within hours. Ah, uh, why? We are getting so close to success! Mm. If only we could go underground. Underground? Wait. We can go underground, shaman? I remember my old man told me about uh, an emergency oh. tunnel leading to the forest on the mountain. Its entrance is right here. Well, the floor of this very room. This is very useful. A tunnel? He told me this. Hoping that one day I will take over his responsibility to look after the village. If I remember it correctly, that forest, which is also the exit of this tunnel, is right outside the impact area. Ooh. He taps on a spot outside the market range with his rose finger. That's great. In the tunnel, even if we don't make it to the forest in time, we can still avoid the damage. Ooh, top. Uh, but... But... He scratches his bird. He's singing embarrassment. The problem is, there's a gate to the tunnel. Now, just for the record, I'm only quoting my old man. We. Oui. It is a gate which only opens to the leader who has earned his people's trust. What? Uh... Well, aren't these uh, people gathered here uh, considered as your people? Just to say, I don't know. Oh, open sesame! We is going real treasure hunting this time. Mm. <laughs> uh, this is where you were left, right? <laughs> so in character. Out of the silence, only the naive child is excited. Yes. Oh, well, my father's version was hardly as exciting as Open Sesame. I didn't believe him even as a child. I tried to open it by force many times. Well, it never worked. Mmm. My old man was telling the truth. Things would be problematic for us. Ay, ay, ay. Because I don't think I can get that gate open. Firstly, 
I've never wanted to be a leader. And speaking of the people's trust, how do you think those cursing old men in the yard will feel about me? What a mood, man. I, I hate the, the, the position of the leader of the pe or the person of reference in general in a group. Even if I'm the oldest one, the most of the time, I don't want to be the leader. I, I, it's so annoying. Hmm. Calabona listened to those cursing old men for a while. She cannot contradict what he says. Even so. She taps on the map, thinking. Hmm. We will open that Oops. gate. We will. <laughs> I like your optimistic uh, way. She looks up at Shaman. He is standing in silence and has a blank look on his face. Hmm? Hmm? It's like, uh, what is your plan? Even if we have to smash it with our bare fists. Oh, I love your determination. Look at her. Even he everything that happened. Shaman helps her to, to um, don't be depressed anymore. And now she is cheering on him. I'm so happy. I'm not sure if you were being sarcastic. <laughs> I love them. She doesn't give a clear answer. Instead, her eyes flit back to the map. It's the best way in the current situation. On the porch in front of the house, there is a loose floorboard. Under it, they see some wooden stairs, which appear to be the entrance of a tunnel. Watch your steps. One after another, they slowly go down the stairs. Oh. Wow. Look at Shaman, he's so big. <laughs> okay, there is a big elephant. I love this, uh, this splash art, but it's so fucking dark. Damn it. The grey and yellow stone gate has a pattern of an elephant raising its from front feet in the middle. It is an immovable as a trail elephant. Hmm. Hmm. So the splash Shaman told us is truly useless. <laughs> what did I say? This is never the gate for me to open. Mm. Shaman gives them an embarrassed smile. Behind him, the criticism comes as expected. <laughs> oh, shut up, old man. I don't want to listen to you, stupid grandpa. <laughs> Grumpy grandpa. <laughs> May the girl listen to my prayer. Oh, oops. oh, here they come again. The complaints Shaman has heard so many times. Those familiar syllables make him almost nostalgic. No, shame on them. Leave my man alone. Ooh. Angela is tapping a foot faster and faster. It's getting hard for her to suppress the anger. Oh no, she's going to explode. You. And protect the, uh, the honor of her daddy. <laughs> yes! Wait. The crowd instantly falls into silence. The spell of nostalgia is broken. <laughs> Shaman lower his head, surprised by her irritation. All you talk about is protect family and stuff. Give me a break. And you. Oh. Uh, me? Um, uh, um, scolded, uh, scolded. <laughs> she's going to scold every adult in the room. Shaman point and his own nose, brought up short. Yes, you. What about me? <laughs> what about me? <laughs> Angela drew back her head and glass at him. You love talking, don't you? Now you go dumb? 
big guy can't defend yourself? Oh. I just don't understand. You feel bad. You say it. Why is you afraid? Oh. You don't owe them. See? Tanjira like send a finger at her ashed crowd. You talk and you shut them up. Ooh. Shamana follows her point pointing fingers and look at the familiar faces. He suddenly realized that after all this year, he still remember each of them clearly. There is no longer anger or disdain in, her, in their eyes. They just remain silent and avoid this case. Why don't you do this earlier? We need to focus on the most important thing. Wow. I love when uh, the most younger can uh, still teach something to the old one. It's open sesame story. Kanjira mumbled admiringly. In the story, only the most smart and wise people can open it. Why do you hesitate now? <laughs> oh, I love mm. the fact that the, the art change. Oh, this is so cute. Come on, Loth, if she says something most amusing. Little one, you think I'm the smartest and wisest person? Oh. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, but this is mo this moment is so cute. I love oh. it. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. He loves stop. But why ask me? It is your gift. Hmm. My answer don't matter. Their answer don't matter too. That's why I said you should shut them up. Kanjira roll her eyes. <laughs> there will be a gate for me and I will open it my way. Ooh. I'm the one to decide how to open my gate. My spell will be longer and cooler than some open sesame. Oh, say it. Say this. <laughs> Let them see. I'm not jealous, you. She turned her back to him, refusing to cast a look at him. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like Dad was right. I'm not qualified to be a leader. Wow. Thanks, kid. Oh, I love it so much. Uh... Anyway, times have changed. Forget the spell. <laughs> Let's go. That, that's his father gate, his father path, his father choice of life, and his father responsibility. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so happy. He raised his voice. Screw it. I have no idea what my father once promised you. In fact, I have no interest in what your old heads think. Hmm. Pick a new spell, sing a song, bleat like a goat. Eh? What? His first glances. At this serious, crucial moment, he strangely re re eh? he strangely re relieved by one sudden idea. <laughs> Ooh, what did you think? What, 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 what are you going to do? He doesn't need any implements. He can just do it with his bare hands. Figuratively, figuratively and literally. <laughs> Ooh. And the one standing right here, right now, is me. Not another Sharma. Let's go. Ooh. This is his way. Uh, I didn't read. Wait. Uh, and the one standing right here, right now, okay. Keep the shoulder loose, stay steady, and engage with the upper hem. This is his way. That is to say... Who? Ooh. This is the easiest punch he has ever thrown. Wow. The burden from the past, the pain, and the stress are thrown out of his body at this moment. Oh, turns out the gate is much more fragile than I thought. Wow! Wow! Ooh! 
Amazing. I'm so invested. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Woohoo! It's a quiet night in the forest. A bonfire is lit in a small open space. That is to say, I'll smash that door open, even if it takes the other arm of mine. Mm. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So cool! Indeed, super cool. As the stick pokes the bonfire, a clear snap can be heard. I guess you didn't see that coming. To tell the truth, I had prepared myself to bounce off from that closed gate, like what had happened many times when I was a kid. Hmm. <laughs> but wow, see how I burst it open? That was cool! That wasn't cool, that was super cool, my man. He threw a few punches in the air excitedly. <laughs> he's so happy! I'm so happy he's so happy. <laughs> He takes back his fist, content, and casually pokes the fire. So in the end, my dad was just telling nonsense to a kid. As always. <laughs> the flame is dancing in his eyes. Those so-called profound teachings. Like one needs adequate strength or a sense of responsibility. Those were too abstract for a kid to understand. <laughs> That's indeed his style. But in the end, the door was opened. That's for sure. That's a good ending for a story. At least a million times better than mine. Mm. <laughs> you have a long way to go before reaching the end. But I'd say you're in a much better place now than you were in the beginning. Indeed. It's good progress. Trust me. Observe from the top of the mountain, the old village is only as small as Alpha a palm. He who only stays behind a closed door will turn away many things, including a chance to survive. All right, all right. Best roast rabbit ever. Mr. Ja, you have the first bite. Hmm. A person with no family, yet radiates the warmth of family to others. I love this. This is so cool. If only Kumar had the slightest warmth from someone. Maybe such an absurd thing would have never happened. Hmm. Maybe. But you were super attached to, to her. <laughs> I doubt she's upset about what happened. Maybe she has found herself a good seat to enjoy this dance of Shiva. Hmm. That's true. She's the kind of person who always finds herself the best seat to watch the show. Hmm, she seems like the kind of person to do that. But I'm curious, tell me, did she, um, say anything bad about me? Mm. That was not a part of her conversation. She just admitted that she was being vindictive. Oopsie. Calabona slightly thrown, hoping to find some clues in the chaotic memories. Maybe I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. <gasps> she suddenly jumps up, as if she were burned by the bonfire. Like you said, the realm can never extract every word I've said. It's theoretically impossible. Huh? How? Where, where did she hear that part? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? I'm confused as fuck. Okay. Starry sky. The darkness is there is so is so oppressive. The light of the stars cannot be seen on the clearest sky. Ooh, it's at one level 20. Let's go. No starry sky. She was in the same room? 
How could it be? Mmm. Calabona pinches herself to keep calm. I know that room well. We have searched every inch of it. Unless she was hanging on the ceiling right above us. But, as I said, she always finds herself the best seat. To be someone who can smile knowingly at the arguments made by the lecturer. Knowing full well the thinking process behind. While staying close to other whispering opinions. Like a perfect observatory from which we witness the events in the universe. <gasps> mm hmm? The fog has lifted. Maybe I've been in the wrong direction. She didn't make the star fall as revenge on the village. She looks up. The sky is completely cloudless. And the stars looks just like the silver sand randomly scattered into the Samudra by Vishnu. The sky in the realm when we met. She recalls the sky in the realm, which was like the surface of Dust's glass wave. Mr. Shemaine, she was not on the ceiling. Huh? Are you taking me seriously? That was just a joke to lighten up the mood. Hmm. But under the ground. Huh? Calabona pulls a photo slowly from her waist. It was soaked while she was in the vat, but now it's almost dried by the bonfire. Remember the underground survival guide where we found this photo? Yes. She's right under that house. <gasps> oh? She's? The street is empty. All the villagers have been evacuated. There are only Manus followers wandering about at night. First to the corner. And the ones who have returned. This is crazy. It has gone beyond my imagination. My... Whoa. Sorry, but you don't have to come with me. Hmm. <sighs> Say no more on that. They choose Nick from one corner to another. If you don't let me see my own sister, I will be dying for answers. Who would dig a basement here? Whoa, whoa. That reminds me. Her curiosity is one of the... Well, the major reason she did that. It's mm. possible that she was well prepared last time she came back to Morpo. I never thought she foresaw that we would be kicked out from the project. And as you just deduced, she did so to see that star? Almost 100% sure. Without me, she must have asked the Manus to support her with arcane skills. This way. After avoiding the wandering Manus followers, they can almost see the entrance to the old house. She was extremely mentally unstable when she left me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It wouldn't take any effort if the Manus had the intention to recruit her. Watching the meteor show and being destroyed by it has been her plan all along. Mm. At this point, it is hard to say who's worse, she or we, since we have prepared to die with her evil plan. However reluctant I am to admit this, sometimes Arcanists are indeed strange creatures. <laughs> indeed, the, they are. <laughs> it's like a madhouse party. <laughs> mm. But uh, what did you teach Matilda before we left? Who? Oh? You, you teach something to Matilda? That's our only chance to survive in her realm. I came up with it when I was calculating the range of the fallen star damage. Hmm. As I said, you are the tiger cub. Ooh. Trying to take a bite in the arm. Even when the hunter has had you in her grip. If this is your way of flirting, <laughs> it's indeed um, particular. I, I, I love it. I, I would love to know what animals do you see in me. <laughs> that method was between Kumar and me. There is another theory according to my calculation. If there are more observers, the realm might collapse. Oh, it's the only theory Kumar doesn't know. At the same time, 
It is not yet strictly verified. Let's go. But I have time to discover it. She's indeed a genius. Oh, mommy's proud of Matilda. I hope it's not too late to make our last attempt. We can do it. Mm. Let's go. If you ask me, it's not yet the time to make that attempt. What? Hmm? They're only one step away from the old house. Ooh, Ayuja Shiva start to rise with a loud rumble. Oh no! <laughs> this must be the appetizer she served us! Uh, literally, it's called like that. <laughs> Great Shiva. I hope your fists feel as light and crispy as Bonnie Puri when they land on my body. Okay. I I don't understand, but sure. <laughs> You're right, my man. <laughs> Time to fight. Um, it's big boss time. Oh, beast! Uh, yes. It's fine. <gasps> Just be careful not to. I finished the dust. No, no, <laughs> guys. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, we we're gonna try. I, I don't know how it will turn out because um, I. I'm a little under leveled. Uh, I was farming, but I didn't farm. Uh, okay, I needed to farm a little more, <laughs> I guess. So we're gonna try. Let's go. Hmm, this is indeed the big. Uh... But we have poison, so don't worry, we can do it. I in you. Me too, I believe in you. You all. You can win. Let's go. Million city. Hmm. We, we can do it. We can do it. We can absolutely do it. Don't worry. Oof, 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 oof. A few moments later. We can do it, even if we are a little under level. We can do it. <laughs> oh my god. So much damage. So much damage. Oh. F -f 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 -f. A tooth for a tooth. Oh, thou go. I want to believe. Like in the train. Let's go. No bow all holy. No Don't worry. I, I have prepared it all. I have prepared it all. We can do it, we can do it. Ah, DK! Let the work begin. Oh my god. I'm so scared. <laughs> we need to do it. We need to, to win. Please, please. What? No! I didn't notice he had a second stack of life. <laughs> um, interessante, interessante. No, interessante sto cazzo. We're dying. That's them? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, we are super Don't dead. Worry, uh, I, I can't do this battle. I'm too under level. Easy. Um, Oh my god, the defeat. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I guess um, for today we stop here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I didn't calculate uh, this at all. I'm super under leveled. Um, the next video will start with this battle. Hope Hope that I will be ready for this. And ah, uh, damn it. Well, thank you all for being with me, and I hope the next video will be the last. So uh, we'll see each other on the next video, on the next week. Bye bye, guys. Thank you all. I will farm. I promise. <laughs>